So this week, there was a story that made the rounds on the wrestling internet, and it came from some comments that Eric Bischoff made on this Insight with Chris Van Fleet uh, show, where he was asked, Bischoff was, about his honest thoughts about Goldberg continuing to wrestle in 2021. And here is what Eric Bischoff said. And I want to make sure I'm quoting this. So that way I'm not taking anything out of context or anything like that. I'm representing what is actually said. Because a lot of the headlines that you saw, you know, kind of those clickbait headlines, those teaser headlines were former WWE personality, former WWE executive says Goldberg's only wrestling for money without, you know, providing all the details. And that's part of the trick, like to get you to click on it, to get you to view it, to get impressions on their site, etc. Uh, Eric Bischoff said his first part, and I quote, Goldberg is doing it for the money. This is not love for the business or I want to get out there and perform. In my opinion, sorry, Bill, you and I aren't close friends, but we are friends. If what I'm saying offends you, Bill, I apologize because I don't mean to, but come on, unquote. And then Eric Bischoff expands upon what he's saying a little bit more. And I quote, do you think he's doing it for fun or do you think he's doing it for the money? He's smart. That's not a bad thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm not putting him down. If I had the ability at Bill's age and look the way Bill did and somebody said, hey, I'll stroke you a seven-figure check to come in and work for five minutes, come on. Let's be honest with ourselves and not bust anybody's balls over it. Every one of us would do it. We dream about that opportunity. Unquote. And as... This started to make the rounds on wrestling, internet, etc. You, of course, had the hardcore fans and a lot of the Goldberg haters, the WWE haters, the newer age neckbeard type of fan base, you know, using this as an excuse to bash on Bill Goldberg and talk about how selfish he is or talk about uh, how stupid or silly it is that he would only be wrestling for the money and not the love of the art form, the love of the profession. And... I have to say this, shut the fuck up. Why do we sit there and put athletes, entertainers, performers on this pedestal? I understand that they have a platform based off of their exposure, their star power, etc. So some of that comes with the territory. But why do we put them on such a pedestal that we disconnect them from reality so much and we seem to forget that they are fundamentally still human beings? They are doing different things to apply their craft, earn their money, make their living, be successful. But at the end of the day, that's still what they're doing. It is not fundamentally different in that respect from you or me. So why in the hell would it be such a problem if Goldberg is only wrestling for the money? Number one, when you get to his age, in his 50s, the fact that he could go out there and do it at all is impressive in and of itself. You might say, well, he doesn't do much, can't do shit anymore. I'm not disagreeing with you, but it doesn't matter. Somebody is still attached to value to him and is giving him big paydays to work a couple of matches a year. Who the hell are we to judge Bill Goldberg for saying, hey, while I, my body can still physically hold up, I have the chance to pour more money in my bank account to help my family, to help my kids. Who in the fuck are you or anybody else to shit on the man for wanting to do that? Knowing damn good and well that if you needed it or you wanted it, you would do the exact same thing. And you'd probably do it, you nerds, for a hell of a lot less than Goldberg is. At least Goldberg has some standards. At least you know Goldberg's getting a good price met for himself when he comes back and does these things. You can make the argument of whether or not he should or whether or not he's hurting his legacy or whether or not he's this or that. But at the end of the day, it's fuck you, pay me in this world, period. When you hear all this stuff about, well, the values matter. And yeah, fundamentally, ideally, that would be great and that's nice. But a lot of times, that's just something that unsuccessful poor people say to themselves and others to make themselves feel better about being the fucking failures that they are. Yeah, it doesn't matter who goes to the grave with the most toys wins. Not really, because you still leave them behind. But while you're alive, wouldn't you want to live the best possible life that you could for yourself? Provide the best possible life that you could for your family? 
So why in the hell is it such a bad thing or so wrong that Bill Goldberg wants to wrestle for the money? Like, think about it this way. How many of you can honestly say, honestly say with a straight damn face, a straight damn face, that what you do for your work, for your livelihood, for your career, your job or jobs, depending on your situation, is because you love it. And it motivates you. And it inspires you. And it's what makes you get up and go every day. It's not about the money. It's about the passion. Bullshit! It's like so many of you sports fans that sit there and bitch about a guy because, hey, they left your team to go sign somewhere else so they can make even more money. Okay, so what? How many of you have left a job to get a 5, 10, 15% pay raise? Why the hell do you begrudge anybody else because they're doing it? If the market indicates that they're worth more, why do we hate on people for going and getting more? Get everything that you value. Get everything that you can. Get everything that the market dictates at your work if that is what is important to you. And if money and the opportunity to make big money while he still can is incredibly important to Goldberg, then who in the hell are any of us to freaking judge that? Can you honestly tell me without being trying to be a dumb dick contrarian. Can I, you honestly tell me that in your jobs, your careers, your professions, that you work it first and foremost because of your passion and your love? Bullshit! You work it because you want to get paid. You work it because you've got bills, you've got kids, you've got wives, you've got girlfriends, boyfriends, boyfriends and girlfriends, secret side hustles and lovers. Like, you got all that shit. You have toys that you want to buy. You want to buy a PS5. You want to do this and you want to do that. Well, a lot of times, God damn it, that passion doesn't deposit into the bank account like it's some magical stimulus check appearing out of fucking mad air. Give me a fucking break. Like, who gives a crap? And to be clear, I am not just defending Goldberg on this. Let's take one of your heroes. Let's say Daniel Bryan says, you know, I'm risking my health right now to continue to wrestle. And really the only reason I'm doing it is because I feel like I can wrestle for a couple more years and make some more money to help provide for my wife and my growing family. I would defend Daniel Bryan to the fucking hilt here too. He sacrificed his body for years. If he's in a position where he says, I want to be able to cash in while I still can because there's no guarantee that I can do anything else that will give me anywhere close to the earning power and earning potential that I have right now, then he would frankly be foolish to not do so. And if he came out and said that, that he's doing it for the money, the hell difference does that make in your life? Why would that bother you so much? Why do so many fans of these entertainers, these athletes, these performers get so caught up on People doing it for the love. Is it because we get jealous of the money and we get jealous of the dollar amount? And we try to sit there and say, well, I was making that much. I would do it for the love. That's from your perspective. If you do it from their perspective, the environment and the situation is entirely different. Like they've also, just because you got a shit ton more money, like they got to deal with a bunch of other bullshit too. Like you can largely go in public and be totally and completely anonymous. A lot of these guys can't, like a Goldberg can't go to the bar and go unnoticed. Like people are going to see this big fucking looking bald dude in his 50s with the gray goatee and think either A, they confuse him for Stone Cold Steve Austin, or B, there's going to be enough of them that say, oh shit, that's Goldberg. So those are the types of things. He's lost anonymity. Others have lost anonymity. And that matters. Like imagine sometimes you want to be left the fuck alone. These guys have a hard time and gals have a hard time being left the fuck alone. So as part of that, why should we begrudge them or hate on them for not loving the business? I bet you if a lot of you actually were professional wrestlers or athletes in other sports, you would find that it becomes more of a job and less of a true passion. You know, it might be your why for doing it because you do maybe deep down truly love it, but eventually that just doesn't matter as much. And other things become the priority and other things become more important. And at the end of the day, that passion, that love doesn't put money in your fucking bank account. Money does. Money talks and all the bullshit walks. So to anybody that has a problem with Goldberg or anybody else wrestling because of money, fuck you. You're the problem. Wrestling is a business first and foremost. The name of the game is to make as much money as you can while you can. 
and anybody outside of the business or especially the marks inside of the business that has lost that perspective needs to have their damn head examined. Who the hell would want to sit there and perform for a bunch of fat, smelly, sweaty fans when you actually have fans in the arena, travel all over the country, stay in crappy accommodations so you can be treated by your employer as not an employee even though they won't let you work any fucking where else and they don't provide you health insurance. They don't pay unemployment insurance or social security tax on you so you got to do all of that and just all these other things like why is that such a big deal to you? I understand it's easy to hate on Goldberg but hate on his crappy matches. Hate on the old geezer coming back. Don't hate on him because he has the opportunity to make big money at his age and he's still doing so because I guarantee fucking T, bunch of hypocrites that many of you are, in your spot, if you were in his spot, you'd do the same damn thing. And I know I would too, and I certainly as hell am not going to begrudge him or anybody else that only wrestles for the money. Because if you're not wrestling to make the most money possible, then what the hell did you get into it for?